We are finally putting Einik behind us and moving on to Kellak. We're going to see how we can get 9k on the Hell difficulty. Now, I want to start off by saying this was not an easy thing to do. This is not a fun boss. I didn't have a good time, and you're probably not going to have a good time. But on turn one, we are going to go ahead and drop these attack cards. I would keep King's Power Strike because that's the only thing that's really going to do decent damage on phase two since he is very tanky. Now, I am running an attack set like I showed there with attack food just so that King's passive, his shield, is just tanky enough to where we can survive a lot of critical attacks. And you'll see here soon that Gother gets probably very, very low. And if it wasn't for the attack set and probably the attack food as well, Gother's going to die. Depending on who he single targets, he comes very close to killing a lot of units. Now, on turn two, I would push for King's ult, whether you get these mergers or not. If you have to use that power strike, then I would use it. But we do want to get his ult because his ult does cleanse, and that is going to help us get the cleanse mission. And if you do have the extra space, I would also push for either Droll or Margaret ult, because we are going to transition with their ult the following turn. Now, I did also taunt, as you can see, Gother did take way too much damage, so we are going to have the single targets drop on a Droll, and Gother is literally one hit away from just falling over. But we do have King ult, so we are going to get a decent shield to tank Kellax ult. We also drew an extra Droll taunt, so I am going to push for Droll ult, like I mentioned, and drop these extra pumpkin bombs. Now... We did pull an extra rank up, which is good, so we can get a rank 3 Margaret buff. If you have this, whether you picked Margaret or Droll to get their ult, the Margaret buff should allow us to hit the 300k mission. And we will also have two more turns into the phase, into the second phase, where we are very tanky and very powerful. So double rank up, and we hit that gold buff. Droll should be hitting 300k. And then we are transitioning. Now, you can't hold on to any ults when you transition. Kellak does dissolve three orbs from everybody, so make sure you don't try to do any premature merges, because he's not going to let it happen. Now, we did thankfully get an extra King Power Strike card, so we are going to get a really good merge here. We are able to push for King's ult, and that's going to be a very strong utility, or very strong thing to have here. As the boss is way too tanky, he has over a million HP, I believe, and he deals an insane amount of damage. That includes a co-destruction attack. He does additional damage if anybody is poisoned, and he also has a increase in basic stats if we cleanse any debuffs. Now, since we did have that gold power strike, we're going to have a very powerful shield, this attack right here, I believe, was the co-destruction attack that usually will one-shot your party. You'll see if you've tried this already. But we did get extra Droll cards as well, so we can actually push for Droll and then finish on, I think, the next turn, which is turn 7. So we're going to get that Droll ult with a taunt. Since we still have our rank 3 Margaret buff up, they're going to be very tanky. King ult is going to drop Kellak down to a sliver of HP. We did deal it just enough damage to keep the boss alive, though, so we know Droll, probably even a Droll Petrify is going to be enough to push through here. And since we are going to be on the last turn, we can actually cleanse and not worry about his stat increase, because, like I said, he has such little health left. Cleansing isn't going to do anything. We can squeeze in these Pumpkin Bombs, and then we can finally get the giant hero mission by clearing with Droll. Yeah. Now this is just barely enough to scrape by. This is literally like, I think this is almost like 9,000 points exactly. This took 60 to 70 stamp pots, I want to say. Like, I hope next week the missions are, are much better. Like, this was, this was not fun to do. But we did it. We finally did it. If you guys liked it, drop a thumb me. Maybe a sub if you're into that. See you in the next one.